Hey, this is Nick from Robocam. Uh, today I'm going to show you some features on our main window. So let's get started. Yeah, as you can see, this is Robocam. Uh, basically, today I'm just going to talk about these features that are up here. And the first feature or button is just the menu button where you can add a new connection, arrange windows, um, save a configuration, and we've got some settings, some shortcuts, and you can quit the application. Um, thereafter, we have these two cursor modes. Uh, the first one is a magnifier, so you can zoom in on uh, a certain object and see if it's in focus or not. The next is this focus tool, uh, touch focus, so I can click on, a, for example, my face, and the camera will refocus on that, on that uh, part of the image. Um, next up, you can take pictures. And then you can also record video. So now I'm recording video through RoboCam wirelessly. Now what I want to show you is uh, connecting multiple cameras to RoboCam. So if we go to the menu, and we go to File and Add New Connection. You can see that these two cameras are uh, on the network, and I can connect them here. And uh, their live views show up as well. Let's just start the view recording on the both, just for just for fun. And then see, let's arrange the windows so we can have a good view of uh, from each angle. Yes. Here are the global buttons at the top. The first is, uh, of course, take picture, which will take a picture in each individual camera. The next is record video. So if I press this button, each camera will stop recording video. If I press it again, every camera will start recording video. I can stop recording video on an individual camera by pressing the, the pause button on that specific live window. So now the GF6 isn't recording video anymore. So start it back up just for fun. The next buttons in the, the main window here are P1 and P2. Um, those are programmable buttons, but since they're up here, they'll be applied globally to all the live views that are currently on the screen. So it's basically, if I press P1, it's just like pressing P1 in each of the live views. And the programmable buttons you can set by going to the configuration menu of a camera and going to the PRG menu. Under P1, you can choose a specific program, and that specific program will be launched when you press P1. Next up, uh, in these uh, global functions, you, can, you have uh, these zoom in and zoom out buttons. So if I press zoom in, this will zoom in on all the cameras simultaneously. So yeah, can zoom in and zoom out. Um, also, with the zoom in and zoom out buttons, what you can do is you can set a specific camera to reverse zoom, which sounds kind of counterintuitive, but if I turn that on, for example, on the TZ60 camera here, then if I zoom in, Let's let's uh, let me zoom in on the TZ60 first a little bit, and I press zoom uh, zoom in globally here. Then the two other cameras will zoom in while the TZ60 zooms out. So if you want to create a shot where you're uh, zooming out on one camera while zooming in with the other, and want to be able to control that simultaneously, you can do that with this feature. That was the main window. Thanks for watching.